Tonight at 6, the I-Team is digging into the new blueprint Duval County Public Schools just released for student safety aimed at protecting kids from predators. This comes in response to multiple allegations of abuse and inappropriate conduct at Douglas Anderson School of the Arts. Earlier this month, longtime DA music teacher Jeffrey Clayton was sentenced to 10 years in prison for crimes related to touching and grooming a student. His arrest last spring unleashed a barrage of other allegations of abuse and a toxic culture at the school. Several other teachers were removed from the classroom amid those investigations. I-Team investigator Ann Maxwell has been following the story from the beginning. And, and you've learned that the district could soon be paying for allegations at DA. Yeah, Kent Joy, the district has reached settlements with three former DA students, including the victim in Clayton's criminal case, totaling $1.45 million. However, that still needs board approval. The district is also recommending more than a dozen changes to policy and procedure in the hopes of preventing what happened at DA from happening again at any school across the district. Today, DCPS released a nine-page plan to ensure student safety, not from outside threats, but from those within. The goal, prevent employee sexual misconduct impacting students. The plan lays out six overarching strategies, including improvements in policy, investigations, staff training, and awareness for students and parents of inappropriate adult behavior. It recommends updating policy to mandate a person be removed from student contact when they've been accused of physically harming someone, sexual misconduct, or using or selling drugs, regardless of where the alleged offense occurred. Under the plan, staff who are aware of allegations of employee misconduct and don't report it could face discipline and even termination. The plan also recommends new rules on teacher-student fraternization, unambiguously stating that employees texting, interacting on social media, and or being alone with students may be grounds following due process for disciplinary action up to and including termination. However, there would be exceptions, like for family members and a teacher giving a ride to a student in need. The plan also recommends hiring an outside HR expert to review the district's procedures and beefing up up investigations by adding additional investigators, cabinet level investigative review teams, certification for HR professionals, and a system for tracking disciplinary action across schools to identify any concerning patterns. The plan also recommends the district implement mandatory training for staff on signs of sexual misconduct, clear professional boundaries, and their legal obligations. Students would be equipped with age appropriate training on identifying and reporting sexual misconduct, according to the plan. In an email, to Douglas Anderson parents, interim superintendent Dr. Dana Krisnar said, what Clayton and others did should not happen at any school. Schools should be places of trust and of trustworthy adults. With the benefit of hindsight through ongoing investigations, we can see areas where better policy procedures and systems will better protect students. Incoming superintendent Dr. Christopher Bernier said the plan represents essential steps to address past incidents and prevent future incidents. Proper implementation will be critical to ensure student safety as we move forward. A spokesperson for the district tells me the policies laid out in that plan will work their way through the school board approval process in the coming months. And just within the past hour, I got a statement from the attorney for the victim in Clayton's criminal case. It reads in part, while nothing can remedy the treatment my client received, she is satisfied knowing that future students of Douglas Anderson will be a little safer and that hopefully administrators will now come to the aid of students in this type of peril without hesitation. As for that, $1.45 million DA settlement. That money would come from the general fund for the upcoming school year. The board is set to take a vote on that on Tuesday. Joy.